Time for Tamara here in The Witcher 3. We're going to go find the Baron's daughter in Oxenfurt, uh, and then investigate the Leeds and Velen to find the Baron's wife. Well, perhaps we should do the Leeds and Velen. What does the quest say about these Leeds here? Welcome back, everybody. By the way, how you doing? Um, find out if Ceres and Velen, find out if Ceres, whatever. Investigate all the Leeds and Velen and find the Baron's wife. <sighs> Oxenford. Hunting a witch. We could also do this. Uh, this is supposed to be another thing that helps Siri. We also talked about freaking secondary quests um, like Wild the Tart. Uh, Siri's room is probably a good one. Um, oh, let's do that. Let's do that while we're here, by the way. Sorry. Before we head off to find either Anna or Tamara, let's do this one. Complete this quest. It'll give us a little XP. Um, and we might as well. This is where Siri stayed. And it should give us at least a little bit of an indication of perhaps maybe some idea of where she ventured from here. And then that witch, uh, the other level 5 quest, is similarly going to help us out here. All right, this is Siri's room. She's got a pretty dang posh bed there. There's a magical something or other down here. What is that? A spinning top. Okay. Like his toy. Uh -huh. Why is your, is your toy in here? Um, is that the only thing I was supposed to find? What about this other stuff? Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. Clothes. She ran off naked. <laughs> the natural obscurity of curses. Was she cursed? The obscurity of curses by Lydia Van Breedevort. Where'd Siri get this? Is she cursed? Let's read this book. Oh, it's probably a quest item, right? Yeah. To my dear friends, Philip and Anna. Whoever thinks curses are only ever manifestations of one being's ill will towards another is sorely mistaken. Shockingly commonplace are reports of curses cast unwittingly on oneself or on objects in one's immediate environment. The consequences of doing so can be difficult to predict. In many cases, they lead to harm or even the death of the person afflicted by the curse or of the people spending time with the object or being on which the curse fell. That is why it is so essential to take preventative measures to safeguard oneself as thoroughly as possible against the casting of curses. As an absolute minimum, Madame Amelia Vera Cruz Leon recommends cleansing oneself of all negative thoughts striving to be at one with the world and achieving harmony between mind and body. Weird. Hmm. A dedication to the Baron and his wife. Seems they had friends in high places in Vizima. Okay, so the book was dedicated to the Baron and his wife about curses and avoiding anyone or anything with curses. Does Siri have some strange curse or something? I don't know. Let's see what Gretchen knows about this spinning top, though, before we bail on the Crow's Perch, the name of the Baron's uh, area here. What up? Look familiar? My top. Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day, and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. <gasps> Level five. Do you know where Siri is? No. One day I bought her breakfast, and she was already gone. Okay, so this is not new information. Yeah, I like how it's like telling me all this stuff um, while she's still talking. Thanks, Grit. Alright. Find the witch on your own or ask the residents of Midcops about her. Um, so that's the Siri witch quest, but. Uh, hunting a witch. Family Matters is level 6, so they recommend doing actually the, the witch quest first. We did this one, um, but I'm gonna go back to this. Where are the other leads in Velen? Might as well spend my points first, though. Two points. Didn't I put something here? It must have never saved or something. I could have sworn that I did this, right? Delusion? Yes. I want to acquire Illusion. Um, and then from there, let's acquire... Hmm. I mean, it, it sort of doesn't make sense to spend points unless I'm going to just dump more into fast damage increase by 10%, right? This is... Uh, that's at level 6, so next slot level I could put another one in there. But for now, I'm just going to put the delusion there for a little bit of a help with our dialogues. And we'll save a point, because why not? I swear I equipped that previously, uh, but it must not have registered. There must have been some point where I <laughs> returned to the game and didn't, like, keep it. I don't know. Anyhow, at least I remember how to get the heck out of here. Investigate all remaining leads in Velen and find the Baron's wife. Okay, so I'm guessing Tamara needs to be the first place we go, then. 
you always know how to appear right off camera. I want to catch Roach phasing in, but it just doesn't seem like it's possible. Roach just like appears at just the right spot. Oh, I've got some monies now. Um, let's let's buy some foods. Why is your hair so gray, darling? Why is your hair so gray? I'm a freaking witcher, bro. Show me what you got. Show me, show me what you got. What is this magic stone? Freaking dragon in your pocket? Optima matter. Optima mater, actually. Lesser gwilif gwif. A little gwif for quen? 2% quen sign intensity. Um, Adelbert, Kermis, third map. Have I, have I not bought that? The freak? I don't know if I have it. I swear I bought that, but okay. Um, fifth essence. Uh... Um, let's dump a few of these things. Like, any of this stuff worth more than one, <laughs> three, worth one. There, alchemist power. Sell two of them. Give me eight freaking coins. Dog Talao. Sell two of them. All this stuff is worth one freaking coin. Like, seven coins is a lot of coin in this game. So weird, don't you think? Okay, anyhow. We've got enough that we can buy another loaf of bread. I actually can get... If I sell two more stinking things, I can get... Um, there we go. Boom! And we're off to the races. See ya. Alright, Tamara, 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 Tamara. Hot tamale. Tundari, Tundari, Tuduti. These horses are trying to talk to each other. Roach says hello. Roach says goodbye. Give that horsey a kiss on her thigh. That may be gross for us, but horses is the most loving way of doing things. Um, Have I not emptied this board here? Is the board really empty? It just doesn't look empty? I go. And now Geralt is climbing the freaking notice board. Good boy, Geralt. You're a freaking weirdo. Okay. Um, so there's no... This investigate all remaining leads thing, I don't think, has a marker because it... I mean, it's showing me to go that way, but it's not giving me a distance. Is it... Sh oh, I always think that's the exit. It's not. Kind of starting to, like, come into a little bit of a... Of a nice cadence with the Witcher. Like, I... I what? Whoa. Ah, I overshot the bridge. Um, I was sort of not liking a little bit of it for a while, but it's, it seems to be coming together a little bit better now. And I'm starting to maybe freaking kind of liking it a lot soon-ish. Faster. Hopefully. I don't know. The verdict's still out. I'm going to wait till I play at least like 20 hours this thing before giving like a final thing. I aired a lot of my uh, like frustrations and concerns of the game. Um, on our weekly podcast, Can't Stop Playing, if you want to hear those there. I don't really want to bore you with the minutiae right now, but I, I went into a ton of detail there in, in a conversation, so it wasn't boring because we had four people all discussing the game, but I definitely have some issues with The Witcher 3. I don't think it's perfect. I don't think it's a 10 out of 10, uh, but this being such a long, lengthy game, like, I, in order for me to fairly review it, I, I can still have my concerns and complaints about certain uh, mechanics and systems. Well, I'm stuck in the tree. Um, but I need to play more of the story and whatnot to really give, like, a, a just review score of this game. I just don't think it'll reach a 10, but you never know. Um, can I see where... Investigate the other leads? This is a lead? No, that's Tamara. Okay. Wait, where is she? Holy cow. I don't know, maybe we shouldn't... That's a long ways away. I guess I could do the witch quest in the meantime. Or do you want to just head up to Oxenfurt? Huh. That's literally super far away. Here's Crow's Perch. I mean, I could fast travel, like, to the... You know what, let's just find Tamara. Rather than getting all, like, quest messed up, Let's just go back and find Tamara. I, I like that idea better. I was going to do like the whole like, well, let's pursue multiple things at once. But, you know, this story with the Baron is intriguing and hopefully intrigued you as well. And it wouldn't be a, a whole lot of justice if we just abandoned it midway through and we're like, let's go and find something else to do because this is a far ride. I'll just go back and use the sign uh, to get as close as we can. And then we'll make the long and epic journey. 
I am level 5 now, so I can handle this probably. Still don't like the fact that you have to go back to these signposts just to fast travel. Like, it'd be really quite, quite awesome if they just let you fast travel from anywhere. Alright. Let's go as northeast as we can go. It's just gonna be here. So the Hangman's Tree. That looks like a scene out of Mad Max. God, that's a good movie. I hope the Mad Max open world game is really fun. Avalanche is developing that one, the people behind Just Cause. Um, after seeing the movie, I like fell in love with that movie and the world, even though it's completely like demented in more ways than one. Uh, but I think the game with like Batman style combat, car upgrades, all that kind of stuff, leveling up and whatnot could be pretty darn hot. I don't want to fight wild dogs. I'll fight wolves because they have some good stuff. I've Come heard. On, Volatile Gabe told me that they do. But I don't really want to fight wild dogs. Alright, it's got 700 meters or 700 paces or whatever the heck this means to go. And if I just run at it and avoid the uh, the roads, we can probably do this way quicker. Wolves! Alright, let's, let's fight some wolves. Hey! Take fire damage and die, and then I'm gonna get your pelt, which I. I or is it wolf liver maybe they give you? I don't know. Pretty sure they give me something that I can eat. My horse like looks like stuck in the tree. Um, is there another wolf up here? Please be a wolf. It is. Oh, I kind of feel bad. They seem so sad. A bunch more wolves. The key to fighting these guys is limiting their numbers. There's a ward. No, I don't want the ward. I want that wolf. Okay. Ooh, this guy looks like he needs business. Whoa! Again, if you just keep the pressure on the ward, probably our best bet. Oh, he's coming hard, though. Ow, I should have blocked. What am I? Geralt! There we go. Alright, you're done. Not that that doesn't mean for us, but hopefully... Wolf's liver, okay. Wolf's liver and raw meat, so we get food from all these guys. Dog tallow from him. Cordinarius. Another wolf here. Yeah, with uh, Igni, and then like a couple strikes, they're done. Which is pretty nice. And then all that raw meat I can eat, so even though well, it's probably going to be stupid now because I took so much damage from that stupid warg. Um, but... Wolf's liver is decently valuable. Chow down on that stuff. Uh, actually, we'll probably be fine. We lost a little health, but we gained some raw meats. No XP, or maybe a little bit of XP gain for killing those things. If any, I don't really know. Alright. Um, one more plant here. Hey, it's worth one coin. Apparently, at some point, the money, like, gets more manageable and you get like a thousand or something or like you, you consistently have like around a thousand which I'm looking forward to because right now I'm just like strapped for cash I'm like a kid in a candy store that can only afford like a pack of gum that's about it all right 500 meters we're cutting this down real quick going through some interesting areas I like the lighting here it's changed it's gotten more um what do you call it like there's lighter coloring it's it's more um like beiges and nudes than dark greens. What is this monster's nest up? I kind of want to investigate over here. A necker? Should we fight that thing? Ow! I don't know what these neckers do, but okay. They're like stuck in place. They make really gross noises. Okay, whoa. Like dodged it. Okay, there's my uh, shield. I, that's such a smart move to cast that shield before you fight. Okay. Alright. Oh, I don't have a bomb to even blow this up, so what am I wasting my time for? Ugh, silly Geralt. 
surface here. Dig their way out. Huh, alright, well yeah, I can't Ugh can't burn this thing, so kind of useless to even fight it. <laughs> Don't have the right stupid bomb. But I got a blue mutagen. Um can I What am I missing for this? Saltpeter? I think maybe I can break something down into salt here somewhere else. I killed the monsters, I just didn't kill the monsters, if you know what I mean. Like I did, but it does no good. That's kind of annoying. Necker I wish you could just here. dig their way out. Necker claw and necker blood, interesting. All I'm saying is I wish I could just blow those up like with Igni or something, but I didn't have to try and do this like ridiculous. Go get a bomb. I should just make bombs. In Oxenfurt, we're making bombs. Uh, that's nice that Geralt is able to kind of climb over ledges very handily. That's a big problem in a lot of open world games. Like, ledge design, as silly as that sounds, is like a very messed up thing. And it's cool that it actually works well here. Um, 370 to go. Looks like we gotta cross this little stream here. Follow the stream. Dodge the drowners. Don't be afraid, Roach. I'll keep you safe. That's the big bridge I want. Okay, cool. Take it easy. Wait, that's the castle. Is that the town? Yeah, it all kind of looks like it leads to one another. All right. Do we think go, they're gonna go. let me through here? Let's let's ask these guys. Your kind spreads Not so fast, Roach. Hello? They're not gonna eat me, are they? Alright, good. <laughs> I was like, you guys don't hate me, do you? Long live, Long live this guy over here that's gonna sell me some stuff. It's a traitor! What up? Greetings! Hello! Wouldn't mind a look at you. Alright, um. You got any salt, Peter? No, he's got some chicken legs. No salt, Peter. Well, crap. All right, I gotta get to a uh, farewell. Um, Roach, where are you going? What do you call those guys? Uh, a craftsman, so that I can dismantle some things and see if that will give us salt, Peter. Or if anyone knows where to find some, I guess let me know in the comments. Watch out, kids! Oh, I almost bulldozed a kid. Bowling for children. Um, apparently, this is not the way. Oh, it is the way. Okay, good. We've reached the first big settled area. No passage. What? Case of the plague surface in the city or something? The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's an order, so I don't. Unless someone's got a pass. I've got a pass. This what you mean? Let me look at that. Mm-hmm. Uh, missing a seal. The red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense forgot again. They're really off their heads these days. Happens, so be it. You may come through. So, doesn't matter that our pass missed the seal. Got 75 experience points for that. Open the gates! Um, my maximum movement speed is limited. Not thus far. This is pretty awesome, crossing this bridge here. Sorry for my voice being like half there, half not. Coach and basketball does that to me, plus talking into a microphone. The combinations cause a little bit of strain on the vocal cords. Alright, so we opened up another fast travel point, thank goodness. Boom, chakalaka. And we'll go pursue Tamara, but look at this place. An actual big town, I've been waiting for one of these to open up. We haven't seen one in so long. I'm gonna make them warm and cozy in, in here. Look at these guys, mines? This guy's like half naked? Alright. Life of Mr. Mime. There's a... <laughs> what? Is this a barber shop? Barber! What up, dude? Make me beautiful. Greetings, master. What can I do for you? Got a razor and shears? Good. Make me look decent. Wait, what if I don't want to? Shaved head and ponytail. Long hair let down, just a shave. I ain't got no money. So long. 
I just gonna rock and roll the bad head forever. But Geralt was naked for a second, so at least the butcher, I mean the the, uh, the barber is happy. Oh. Sorry guys. Big village. How many of these buildings are interactable though is the question, right? Like I wish all of them were, but I know that's not the case. It's still cool to be in a much bigger place nonetheless. This is a locked inn. That must be the back door of the inn. Um, can I get a map? Is there a button you can press to instantly go to your world map? Um, <laughs> there comes your room's roach. Guess, I thought there was. Maybe there isn't. Okay. So is there a another merchant up here? Oh, and there, yeah, there we go. There is a uh, an armorer, an armorer. That's what we want, I guess, not a craftsman armorer. Is it a bad idea, you guys think, just to grab everything off of the merchant's board? Anyhow, let's go to this armorer first in his armorer shop. I, I don't know why Geralt's like obsessed with lighting all this stuff. Wait. At least there's cool indoor buildings and stuff now. That's pretty hot. Greetings. My, my, a witcher. Something tells me I'll finally get something interesting to do. Sure doesn't look like you're short on work. Hmm. <laughs> so it's this, a Redanian army order. But there's no pleasure in it. One after the other, same thing time and again. No finesse required. Looking to perfect your craft? Of course. Crafting's like plowing a maid. Fall into a rut. To, well, sure, you'll get the job done, but there'll be no hoops, no hollers, no standard ovation. So, got any special requests for me? Help me stay on form. Still talking about armor, aren't we? Aye. What else would it be? Maids. Uh, You're creepy. Luck. Well, creepy, right. creepy. Everyone's half creepy in this game. Um. Dismantle. Okay. I need some salt, Peter. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. That's not it. Salt, Peter. Where is the freaking salt? Oh my god. Literally nothing turns into salt, Peter. I'm gonna cry. Are you selling salt, Peter? Wait, is that it right there? That's oh, silver. All these freaking dust. Uh, all I want is some salt, Peter. <laughs> Lead. Oh my god. I need to make bombs. He's got all sorts of interesting stuff, but nothing that spells salt, Peter. Skellige Gambas, I feel like I've seen that before. Oh, sorry. I'm late for bed, but the Witcher is here. Um, I wish I could dismantle for money. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below where I can find some salt beaters so that I can make some freaking uh, bombs and stuff. We'll stop in this shop, take a little rest in this guy's sword bench, and then go find Tamara the Baron's daughter, uh, or at least inquire about her. Next time. Until that time, though, guys and girls, thanks so much for watching. a fantastic day and enjoying this series. Drink some hot chocolate. Watch out for Geralt on the road, on the path. Or the Baron himself. That guy's a bloody mess. Until next time, thanks again, and we'll see you all later.